Sometimes products end up in crowdfunding hell through no fault of their own. They did everything they were supposed to do, but they still weren't going to make it. Say hello to Pico. Pico, mm -hmm. say hi to everyone. Awesome! Hi, I'm Abhishek and this is Pico, mm -hmm. the only robot in the world to respond entirely through videos and GIFs. Say what? Pico is not just any robot, he's your desktop companion designed to provide little moments of delight and entertainment to get you through your day. So what can Pico do for you? Well, since I spend long hours in front of the computer, I use mine to stay productive. Keep me off Reddit when I should be working. Oh, whoa, 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 stop, dude, what are you doing? Remind me to drink water regularly. Rest my eyes from time to time. Shield your eyes. And for those times when all I need is a quick pick-me-up. Pico, I just can't do this. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. My very own productivity bot. But of course that's not all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't heard nothing yet. Wait a minute, I tell you. You can use him for all kinds of tasks. Pico, <laughs> what is the weather? Pico, <laughs> set a timer for 20 minutes. You got it, dude. Pico, <laughs> turn off the lights. The list goes on, and his unique visual response system means you don't get the same boring responses to common questions, always keeping it fresh and fun. <laughs> He will come as an affordable, easy to build kit, so you get to put him together yourself. No special tools required, everything you need is included in the box, so you can get up and running in absolutely no time. Easy, easy, easy. There will be a bunch of pre-programmed skills, so he's ready to go right after he's assembled. I am ready, baby! No matter your technical prowess, you can also easily add your own custom responses and new skills. And since the code is open source, community contributions will continuously improve the experience for all. That is so fetch. Pico's brain is a Raspberry Pi, and this opens up a thriving community right from the start. There will be a growing video library of educational content, so you can use him as a truly unique platform to dive deeper into the world of robotics, electronics and software. Just pop his head, plug in a keyboard and mouse, and hack away to make him your own. He has an impressive screen for an expressive face, a microphone array so he can hear you, I am listening. stereo speaker so he can speak to you, a camera so he can see you, and a unique flexible exterior for added nonverbal cues. And what's more, Pico comes with a personality to match. Look at me. It's clear to all of you that I am awesome. Defy him after giving him a task, and he'll stop listening to you as well. Pico, <laughs> play me Spotify. I'm not listening to you, you're crazy. Ask him the same question repeatedly, and he might get annoyed. Pico, <laughs> what is the meaning of life? I want it here. And whatever you do, don't ask him whether it's pronounced GIF or JIF. Oh my god, will you let it go? Definitely not your average bot. You're goddamn right. So go ahead and back Pico today <laughs> to help us go into production so that you can bring the most delightful, the most entertaining, and the hippest little bot into your home office or classroom that completely redefines the way we interact with robots today. And before we sign off, Pico, do you have anything to add? Help me to find it! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> now, in that video that you just saw, he would appear to have 
done the things that you would expect on any Kickstarter. He actually had a working prototype, it appears, and setting aside the copyright infringements that so many of those little excerpts or memes or whatever the heck they were, were it looked like he had something that was kind of a, a cute niche type of product. And then this happened. He killed the campaign and gave everybody a refund that they had put into his product. He also gave very solid and valid reasons why he was killing the campaign and also that there was going to be a follow-up that would allow some people to actually get this thing, this niche product. Now those solid reasons made sense and they still do make sense, but I would think that maybe there was also one other thing that might have influenced his decision. Nevertheless, as a niche product, it probably can succeed, and who knows, in the future, maybe it will. But, by default, it's now finding its way into crowdfunding hell. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.